My name is Jason Wagner. I'm the wildlife area manager for uh, Cheyenne Bottoms Wildlife Area for Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. I've been on this job currently since June of 2017. Currently, Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism is in charge of management of 19,957 acres. We just increased our acres by purchasing a little bit of land from the Nature Conservancy, actually. Um, that puts us at right at half of the, the total area that we consider the Cheyenne Bottoms Greater Basin. So the Greater Basin is, is uh, 40,000 acres. The main goals of, of Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism in Cheyenne Bottoms Wildlife Area is to manage a diverse wetland habitat for a variety of wildlife species, both migratory and upland species such as pheasant, quail. But our goals are, and priorities are always set on the migratory birds, shorebirds, and especially waterfowl. We also maintain the property for outdoor recreational opportunities such as hunting, fishing, trapping, camping, and other uh, outdoor recreation activities such as bird watching. Uh, bird watching is one of our most popular activities that we have out here at Cheyenne Bottoms. So in the 1940s and 50s when Kansas Department of Wildlife Parks and Tourism first purchased land that now makes up Cheyenne Bottoms wildlife area, they began to develop the property uh, for better management of the, the wetland system. They uh, put in a series of dikes, canals, and water control structures that better uh, help us utilize the water that we have available, um, better keep, keep it wet more years than not. Tradition historically, it was dry two or three years out of every six, so almost half the time it was actually dry. But with the new systems that they put in, uh, initially it allowed us to uh, keep w water in these wetlands and better store the water and better management overall for for the wetlands and for the wildlife management. They've pr uh, produced a uh, series of canals that divert water off of a couple drainages, uh, most importantly the Arkansas River and the wet walnut that allow water to be diverted into Cheyenne Bottoms so we always have a reliable water source. Historically there was only two water sources, uh, drainages that, that uh, came into Cheyenne Bottoms. Another important part of the system that they put in place in the 1940s and 50s is the outlet canal. So that allows us uh, to release water during high periods of, of rainfall and precipitation such during uh, flooding events. So uh, it, overall the improvements that they made, most of it is still in place. We've added since then in the 1990s, uh, but a lot of the historical uh, infrastructure, dikes, roads, uh, water control structures, etc., are still in place and we still uh, use them today. Aside from myself, we have two other full time staff, and then we also hire multiple temporaries uh, throughout the summer and other times of the year. Uh, day to day, our, our job is very diverse. Uh, we do a lot of prescribed burning, we do a lot of uh, silt removal uh, equipment, we do a lot of tractor work. Uh, disking cattails, controlling cattails is, is one of our main objectives that we have out here at Cheyenne Bottoms. Uh, we also do a lot of people management. A lot what we do is, is for the visitors that, that come to Cheyenne Bottoms, road improvements. Uh, another big time consumption uh, or daily use of our time is water management. Uh, during certain times of year, during the spring time, we, we spend a lot of time removing water off the, the pools for, for wetland management. And then during the fall, we spend a lot of time adding water back into the pools for, uh, for hunting and uh, for migratory bird habitat. So that uh, consumes a lot of our time. Hunting is very important to Cheyenne Bottoms, not, not just as a, uh, because it's a sustainable uh, activity that we have out here at Cheyenne Bottoms. Uh, the main uh, contributors for hunters towards Cheyenne Bottoms Wildlife Area is they're the main funding source for our day-to-day -day operations and management of the property. Uh, all of our funding is, has come from uh, hunters uh, through sales of hunting license, uh, deer permits, turkey permits, etc. Also uh, wildlife uh, or waterfowl stamps is another primary source of income for the property. Uh, the other big source of income is what's called the P Pittman-Robertson Act. So that's a 25% 
we contribute 25% of the funds and the 75% comes from Pittman Robertson Act and that money comes from an excise tax that is placed on the sale of uh, guns, ammunition, and certain uh, sporting uh, equipment. So every time a hunter buys uh, some ammunition or a gun, that there's uh, excise tax, and then that's distributed to the states based upon their hunting, the number of hunters that they have in, in the state. So the main uh, driving factor for hunters for the property is they are the main funding source. Aside from that, they also help manage wildlife populations. Uh, again, it's a sustainable activity that, that hunters uh, participate in every fall.